Hi folks, today I'm gonna bring you with me into the forest and I'll show you how I capture my photography. The camera I'm shooting with today is a Sony a7 III and a budget friendly lens. It's the Tamron 24mm 2.8. So here I found a nice mushroom. I am not into the names. I don't know anything about this. It's quite new to me. So uh, if you know the names, please uh, hit me in the comments so uh, I can get educated as well. The settings I use is uh, shutter to the left, uh, 125. The aperture is 2.8, that's the shallow depth of field. So when I uh, focus on the subjects and uh, the background will then get uh, more blurry. My uh, ISO is 500. I have a Sony a7 III, as I said. And that's quite uh, good in low light conditions. So uh, the ISO, it's uh, not uh, a concern when it comes to uh, taking photos uh, today. So uh, let's capture this one. And uh, I need to try different compositions to find the composition that I like. Maybe you like this one. Maybe you don't like the next one or some of the others. Uh, it all depends on your creative eye and how you like your photos. Maybe you wonder where I am, who I am and uh, what my name is. I haven't introduced myself yet, I think. My name is Chris or Christopher, they call me Chris and uh, I'm 46 years old. I come from Norway and this is a typical Norwegian pine forest. So it's not easy to find those autumn colors on the leaves and stuff because it's mostly pines and needles and shit. But uh, in a later video, I will uh, show you some photography with those uh, nice autumn colors. You can see how small this uh, mushroom is and uh, how the photo looks. It's quite fascinating and uh, actually quite fun. I wonder what I bring uh, on my hikes uh, when it comes to like energy or hydration. It's uh, for me important to pack as light as possible because you have the gear and then you have the gear that you film the gear with and then you have the tripods and then you have. So the weight is adding up. So uh, the food wise or the hydration wise, it's for me important to pack as little and light and most efficient as possible. So I bring uh, nuts, I bring bananas and I bring protein bars. That's for the energy and then I bring my hydration, that's water or maybe sometimes I uh, sneak with me a uh, Coke Zero. When they move back and forth it's very easy to get them out of focus because you focus and then they move and then you get back home and see oh it's out of focus. So the tip here is to raise your shutter so you can freeze the movement. So Either it's macro photo or photo in general, when there is a lot of movement, raise your shutter so you can freeze the movement when you're taking the photo. I took a little closer look and I saw this. And I'm gonna try to capture that in a photo, like this. I think that was the smallest one I've taken photo of uh, today. And uh, I like the composition, the, the dead grass around, and it was like in a in a small hill if uh, we look at the picture and uh, I think maybe that one was the one I liked the best until now. Let's move on see if we can find something else other than mushrooms but uh, I have a suspicion that uh, that will be difficult but I will try. Sometimes it's best when you get into that photo uh, mode and you just go uh, shooting pictures and just thinking about your environment not the video and uh, stuff like that. And that is exactly what I did. So uh, while I eat my banana, I can show you uh, the photos I just took.
when you're out taking photos for uh, many hours and you spend a lot of time maybe on one subject the battery drains so if you don't have uh, extra batteries batteries with you you have to uh, buy or my advice buy a power bank so you can bring along with you so you are able to charge your uh, camera or your uh, smartphone when you're out taking photos my english is superb today i think i'm gonna call it the quits here because it's starting to get a little gray up there and a couple of raindrops has fallen i don't want to hike outside when it's pouring down so uh, i hope you liked the video i hope you liked the photography maybe it was shit maybe you liked some of them maybe it was a banger there i don't know maybe leave a comment and let me know and uh, i'll see you in the next video take care and i see you next time bye bye <music>